All right, everybody. Today is Friday, July 9th. We just had a 4th of July weekend not too long ago, and I hope everybody had some barbecue and enjoyed themselves. Today, I want to talk about something. Like I said in my last video, I'm going to start addressing topics about crime and justice and criminal justice. The one topic I want to discuss today is falsely act, false accusations. Now, before I get into the, to my opinion and how I feel about it, the whole thing with Bill Cosby, I don't believe he's innocent. I don't know the whole facts, but I do know he admitted to it. So that's neither here nor there. My opinion on that is I'm not adverse in criminal justice. So I don't know the case. I don't know the, the circumstances of what happened, of why he was let out. All I know is it was an injustice. And whoever messed up, they made, they made a mistake and they'll figure that out. So being falsely accused of a crime or a lie or, or being falsely accused of anything can hurt people's life. It can turn their lives upside down forever. I've, I've been falsely accused of small things like of stealing something from somebody that I didn't do or saying something, but it's never had a falsely, a false claim that would turn my life upside down down to the point to where I'm too deeply depressed or wanting to hurt myself or go on a rampage. But it happens and you get falsely accused, it, can, it messes up your life. It, I've seen it. I've read it. There's a lot of cases out there. There's a lot of people in jail, a lot of people on, on sex offenders lists, you know, that are falsely accused. And, and sometimes it's hard to get your life back. Sometimes it follows you for the rest of your life, no matter what. I learned that because I was falsely arrested for what they call the drug traffic loitering charge. And five years after I, the case was thrown out, they still had a drug arrest on my record and when I went to go get a job somewhere, they did a background check and they wouldn't hire me because of just an arrest, not a conviction. So yeah, it, it can hurt you no matter what it is. And so I just think that people should be careful before they falsely accuse somebody of something or claim they did something because it can cost people's lives. That's just, it's, it's a shame that, I mean, people do it by accident. People do it on purpose so they can, and I, I don't know, I'm not an expert. So I don't know why people do it on purpose. Maybe because they're just gonna get back at people, revenge, whatever, so may it be. But there's a lot of false accusations that's happened and it's ruined people's lives. And to me, it's just ridiculous of why people do it. Yes, accident, accidents do happen. You know, people accidentally false accuse people falsely of something because they don't know the whole truth, but we're human, we make mistakes. I have falsely accused people of stuff before and did not know the whole story. So yeah, I'm not perfect. So. You know, just be careful about their, about accusing people of something before you know the fact, because you really can mess up somebody's life. It happened when I was, I first started really thinking, thinking about this stuff when I was in college, when we was in class, when I was in criminal justice class, one of the girls was talking about her uncle who, who was falsely accused of child molestation. And it's, it's, I don't know, I haven't talked to him in God, 20 years, probably maybe 10 years. I don't know. And at that time he was still trying to, they were still trying to get his name cleared from the sex register offense book or registry so yeah it it can really mess your life up i mean it could follow you to the day you die and you know even if you are claimed to be innocent or you didn't do what they said you did people still are going to look at you as you did it and i just it, it hurts to see that somebody's life gets turned upside down from a small little accusation or you know a big accusation because life you should know the facts but then again, we're human. We make mistakes. So nobody's perfect. It, it just, I just hate to see good people get tore down because of a lie or, an, or a false accusation. So to me, just be careful with your words. And I never, never knew growing up that words do play a part in how people react or, you know, how people take it more than I have in the past five, six years, the way, the, the way things are going in the world. So if you see something and you feel somebody doing something, don't falsely accuse them unless there's like a hundred percent proof or even a way to prove it because you really can throw somebody's life out of whack and they, they either going to wind up hurting themselves, hurting somebody else. They're going to have depression. There's no telling what you can do to them because I don't believe when it comes to mental aspects of, of people, I don't believe that, I don't believe in what they call going postal when somebody just all of a sudden wakes up one day and starts going on a shooting rampage. You know, I don't believe that. Something's you know, been eating at them for a long time and you never know somebody's trigger. If you falsely accuse somebody of something, it could trigger them to do something rash. But we are human, so we are prone to make mistakes. But don't be afraid to take responsibility for a mistake that you make because it plays a lot. Even 
even kids, when you falsely accuse a child, you can throw them out. You know, you falsely accuse your child or a child of doing something that they didn't do. You can throw them into a different situation. It can make them act out. I've seen it before and it's going to happen. So the moral of my topic is just be careful when you make claims or you make accusations or you accuse somebody of something because it can really, really turn somebody. And like I said, you don't know, it could turn somebody's world upside down. It may not affect them at all. I don't know. I am, I'm just saying everybody is, is affected different by different situations. So, I mean, some people might not be affected if you accuse them. They don't care. Some people just be like, eh. You say, I did it. I know I didn't do it. I'm just going to let it play out how it's going to play out. I'm not going to do nothing. But you can't predict that. Again, moral story, just be very careful when you accuse people of something. No matter what it is, it could be a small little tidbit of stealing 50 cents off your dresser. I mean, that could throw somebody into a whole whirlwind of like craziness and want them to hurt you because you don't know if you you don't know somebody's reaction in general. Again, y'all have a good weekend. Today is Friday, July 9th. Yesterday, for people that don't know, was my one year anniversary of being married. Total of being together six years and uh, hopefully many more to come. And like I told her, we can't predict the future. We just roll with the life that we are that we have and we deal with it the best we can, no matter what comes up. And we've said this many, many times, we're old school and if something comes up, we'll fix it, no matter how long it takes. So she's, I guess, I guess I could put it like this. She might address this next time, but I guess we're like the penguins. We made it for life. And she's probably gonna laugh at this when she sees it, or, you know. So yeah, y'all have a good weekend and uh, I will, Talk to y'all next time.